Hi, today we will talk about how TranslatePress can help you translate the emails WooCommerce sends to both you and your customers. I'm sure you already know how important these emails are, so let's get straight to it. To translate your WooCommerce emails into a secondary language, you'll first need to install TranslatePress. To install the TranslatePress plugin, you need to go to Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Then search for TranslatePress and then click on Install. After the installation is done, don't forget to activate it. The next step is to go into Settings and add the language we want to translate our emails into. After you click Add, you need to save and that is it. Before we start translating, let's talk a bit about WooCommerce emails and who gets them. From the WooCommerce tab, click on Settings. Then switch to the Emails tab. Here you will see all the emails that are already set up, including the admin emails that are used for managing your orders, alongside the emails your customers get when they do a certain action such as placing an order. Now, let's get to translating. For the easy route, you can always enable automatic translation and let TranslatePress and the appropriate WooCommerce language packs do the work for you. If you need help enabling automatic translation, watch the video linked in the right corner. But as we suggest every time, you should always review all automatic translations and tweak them when necessary, since machine translation is rarely 100% accurate. So whether you want to review and edit automatic translations or manually translate the emails from the get-go, this is how you do it. To start, we click on Translate Site either from here or from the front end of your site. Then click on the String Translation button, from there switch to the Emails tab and then click the Rescan Plugins and Theme for Strings button. This will make sure TranslatePress is populated with all your emails. After the scan is complete, you can use the WooCommerce filter just so you can narrow your search to those emails only. Now, the easiest way of identifying the strings you want to translate from a specific email is by grabbing one that's already been sent. I'll use the email WooCommerce sends to my customers when they create a new account and search for each string in the email like so. To translate the subject of our email, I'll paste in account has been created Search for your string, then click on the string of text and input my Spanish translation on the left side. If you've enabled automatic translation, this field would be pre-filled, but you can still edit it. Then I will click Save Translation when I'm done. As you can see, there is also a To English field. This does not have to be changed unless you don't like WooCommerce's default wording. We'll do the same for the next string in the email, which is the title. We copy it from our email, paste it in the search bar and click on search email string. Click the string, paste in your translation, click on save translation. Let's check our email again. Type in hi. Search for your string, click the string, enter your translation, click Save Translation. Same thing for the body. Grab a chunk of text, search for the string and click it, paste in your translation, click on Save Translation. Once we've finished translating the entire email content, TranslatePress will start delivering it to your users based on their language preferences. So when a user switches the default language from the language switcher and browses your website in Spanish, TranslatePress will consider that to be the visitor's preferred language. Therefore, the email sent to that user will now be delivered in Spanish. The same is true for your website admins, only this time the email's language is based on their selected user profile language. There you have it. That's how TranslatePress can help you translate and manage your WooCommerce emails. For more tutorials like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like if you found this video useful. For more information, be sure to check out our documentation linked in the description. Thanks for watching.